Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are keeping warm because it has been cold for me this week. So I hope you're keeping warm, I hope you're keeping healthy and I hope you're keeping safe, which is very important. If this is your first time joining me, my name is Nandipa. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is so good to have you. If you are returning, Sabi, thank you so much for coming back. And this week I'm going to be doing a hair growth challenge. I do wish that you would join me. I'm going to be doing it for a period of over five weeks. Now last year I'd actually cut my hair short. Just wanted to cut my hair. Cut my hair very short. And then a couple of months later I did another hair chop. Cut my hair even shorter and this time I went full on. I did um, the fade. So my hair in the front was literally shaved. It was literally bald. And then I decided I want to grow my hair. So I've decided now I want to grow my hair. And then I did an onion juice challenge, a seven day challenge, the onion juice with the olive oil. After seven days, my edges were actually coming back. My hair grew within those seven days. My edges were actually, um, growing quite nicely as well. I did stop because of the smell of the onion juice. This time, so I've decided to take on this um, onion juice challenge again, but this time I'm going to be adding some garlic as well as ginger. Very important thing to remember before you actually do the onion juice for your hair, make sure you actually do a patch test to make sure that you are not allergic to the onion or any of the ingredients that you're going to be using and if you don't get any reaction then you are absolutely good to go i'm going to be using it twice a week for five weeks if you want to join in in the challenge you are absolutely more than welcome to i would really join me i'm going to um show you what ingredients and what really they do for your hair so let's the first this. ingredient i'm going to be using is an onion i am using the yellow onion reason being that it contains more sulfur now sulfur is very good for giving your hair some strength as well as elasticity Onion has vitamin A, C, E, folic acid, as well as biotin, which are all very important when you're trying to grow your hair. Onion contains a flavonoid. Onion is also an antioxidant, an anti-inflammatory. It stimulates your blood flow to your scalp, which is going to bring oxygen, vitamins, mineral, as well as amino acids to your hair follicles. Onion also helps to fight with the dandruff. All you need to do is you peel off the onion, slice it off into smaller pieces, and then we are going to be setting off that aside and preparing for the next ingredient. Now I am using the boil method for this one. Next up, we have garlic. I am using two cloves of garlic. Now, garlic is rich in selenium, which helps to boost the blood circulation, which is very good for improving the nourishment. Garlic also helps to cleanse your hair follicle, which is going to prevent clogging and build up in the follicle because build up can actually cause um, your hair to fall off, your hair loss, because your hair is not growing properly. Garlic is also very rich in vitamin C, which promotes your healthy hair. Also very good for helping to, pro to produce um, collagen to the hair, which stimulates your hair growth. Garlic is very good for helping to calm down any aggravated scalp, but also helps to fight the dandruff. So again, you're going to chop off the garlic, peel off, chop it off into smaller pieces. And then we're also going to be adding that to the onion boil. Our last ingredient we're going to be using is we are going to be using ginger. Now, ginger helps to prevent any hair loss. It's very good for helping to fight a dandruff. If you've got any dryness in your hair, fantastic. Ginger is very good for helping to tackle dryness. It nourishes your hair. Ginger also acts as your natural hair conditioner. Ginger contains magnesium as well as potassium. All you need to do is you peel off your ginger 
and then I am grating it finely. I am not using any blender for this one, so I'm just going to grate that ginger finely. Once you are done grating your ginger, you are going to take a sieve or a strainer and you're going to try and extract the juices from the ginger. So we are going to strain that as we are doing here because we only need the juice from the ginger. Now, if you still want to use your ginger, the remaining one from the strainer afterwards, you are absolutely more than welcome to use your ginger for whatever it is that you want to use it for. We are going to take our chopped onion as well as our chopped garlic and we are going to bring them to the boil. Let them boil and once you finish, let them set aside, set them aside so they can cool off a little bit because all we need is actually the juices from the, the mix. So you finish boiling it and then you're going to use a strainer and you're going to strain it into a container. Okay, so this is my mixture. Now what I'm doing is I'm adding the ginger juice into the mixture. I have put it in a mason jar because I still need it to cool down a bit further. It is still a little bit warm, so that's a final mixture. The next step is I am going to be adding it into my spray bottle and it's ready for use. Now I'm going to be actually putting on, on in the spray i'm going to be putting it in the spray bottle and i'm going to leave it in the fridge because it's actually good for about seven days up to seven days so the best way to do this is to actually um part your hair because you're mainly going to be using it on your scalp part your hair spray it on do not use your hands do not use your nails or any part make sure you're using it with the cotton wool and then you're just going to dab it in the scalp and then i'm going to cover it a shower cap and i'm going to leave it on for about an hour leave it on my hair for about an hour and then i'm going to wash it off wash my hair and style my hair as i do hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video make sure you hit the subscribe button guys Hit your notification bell so you will be notified when I upload my next video and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much again for watching.